Hey guys, welcome back to the Fellowship of the Things. On this episode, one of the oldest games gets a shiny new take when I combine the game of chess and the Internet of Things. Here I have two boards that connect over Wi-Fi using an ESP8266 SparkFun Thing dev board. Each board has one player, which has their pieces, and connects to the other board through data.sparkfun. The board lights up to indicate where the other player's pieces are, and they're color-coded red for rooks, green for knights, blue for bishops, purple for queens, and yellow slash gold for kings. Also, pawns are white. The nice thing about the WS2812 LEDs is that you can daisy chain them, so you only need one pin to control them. But the read switches are another story. So each row is hooked up to an eight pin shift register, taking up only a few pins instead of 64. Add an LCD screen, and those are all the components in the board. The physical boards are made out of half inch wood, which I cut into interlocking pieces to create the eight by eight structure inside. The boards are made out of two colors of acrylic, which I cut into two and a fourth inch pieces and welded together with an acetone type adhesive. The front control panel I laser cut and etched, and the outside was rubbed with Danish oil to give it a nicer finish. Now onto the code. When I was making this project, it was really important to me that the mechanics of chess stayed the same. I didn't want you to have to pick up and beep a code or put in your number and where you're going. I wanted it to stay as simple as possible. You pick a piece up, you put it down, and that's your move. I did this by keeping track of all the pieces in the code. Since the beginning configuration is set, I can keep track of everything as it leaves the board and comes back, seeing what piece left and moving it to where it showed up. There are a few special cases in chess which I programmed in specifically, and those are castling, which you do with the help of the button and the switch to indicate what side you are castling, pawn promotion, which I programmed to turn into a queen, I know you can do other ones, but a queen is the best, an en passant move, and capturing in general, because you can't take the other person's piece off the board, so you have to indicate that they need to take the piece off before beginning their next turn. The way the boards are talking back and forth is over FANT, SparkFun's data logging website. It posts the last move and whose turn it is. When it is your turn, the board looks for your move, and when it is your opponent's turn, it awaits to get a signal that a move has been taken. This project is a great example for connected devices, since it deals with multiple pieces, both pushing and receiving data, and doing something with that in a physical interface. In past episodes, we have had projects that did one or the other, but this is a beautiful blend of both. This is also a wonderful device for chess players, as it automatically records your game. It is a physical board to play on, but it also allows you to play online. Anyone can watch your game progress, and you can challenge yourself with the half-blind settings where you just get the LCD update of the last opponent's move. I love chess, and I hope that this inspires your next project. Whether you build a connected game, build something that pushes and pulls from the internet, or just add some electronics to one of your favorite classics, let me know in the comments. If you want to stay up to date on all of our shenanigans, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And as always, see you next time.